Hi, this is Shui with a review of the Jordan 11 Retros. Uh, I normally despise and hate Retros, especially those, well, mainly because when they come out, it's business. It's for resellers, they stock up, and Nike produces them in limited numbers, and you gotta queue up, camp outside. I guess it maybe started with culture, it's fun, but it also is, it's very insulting, and it's not very appropriate for a company that provides a certain kind of service to actually force their customers to go on their knees and beg and wait. Uh, the, the welcome trend these days is that Jordan 11s are kind of dying in terms of their uh, their market value because of the Kobe Pro Tros and sometimes shoes like Dunks. They're really, they have really low retail price. So when you sell them, resell them, it's more worth it. It's a better investment. Uh, the Jordan 11s, they still release at a pretty high price point. Well, first of all, this color, the, um, uh, the, uh, the legend blue, <laughs> they always have a name for these colorways. This is the first time that Nike is releasing legend blue low cut of the Jordan 11s. Uh, the mid cut normal version was worn by Michael Jordan in the all-star game during the 95, 96 season. Um, sure. It doesn't have that, that, iconic vibe like the Concords, but this is the first time this colorway is being released but it was released at a very very bad time when it was when it is being outshadowed by the kobe's i think um so they're sitting on the shelf so you can get them for retail price so think about that pro you don't this is the this is one of the few times when you can actually leisurely stroll to a store and try on different sizes of jordan 11s and decide which one you want to get or which one or decide not to get them at all after trying like seven different sizes. Uh, the patent leather is white, so it's all white. So that's another, I guess, a bit of a turnoff. It doesn't have that iconic vibe like the uh, Jordan 11 Concords. But of course, some people like it. And uh, there's a little bit of a yellowing the more you wear them. And some people say that that weathering, that weathering natural weathering gradation colorway makes the shoe look even better. Anyway, this is something that bugged me for a long time. I just tried to read what this codes are, but it just turned out to be very simple. Uh, was it? Is it Greek? Like it's like three Z Z O whatever. No, it's just Jumpman Jordan. Yeah, it's just written huh, or horizontally. Um, I'm or vertically rather. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm a little bit. I wish it could have been different is uh, I like this part to be a little bit of a mash. Maybe that helps with the breathability or the lightweightness, but it is the more iconic feature of the standout feature of what makes an 11 and 11 for size US 9. This weighs about 426 grams. So it's not exactly on the light side, but yeah, it's not crazy heavy either. Um, the 23 right here, it's kind of like a painted on them, thick cut of, rubbery paint so the the mid cuts you tend to have the problem of these parts there's a little bit more movement there and you tend to pull this as you slide your foot in so the 23 gets erased off and you disappear quickly but for the lows you just slide your foot in there's a very little reason for you to be pulling or uh toying around with this part unless you you know step on and crumple the heel cup which i don't think you would do with a 200 dollars shoe so they tend to stick around a little bit longer than the mid cuts and the jumpman logo is on the heel instead of uh, uh nearby the ankle area and if you like that setting this is the shoe for you uh the, the laces are thick like udon noodles uh, some people like that some people don't well one thing for sure is uh, when you lace them up they tend to get you know loosened up relatively easy so you want to do like triple quadruple knots to make sure they don't come off if you're actually wearing them for performance the the fit is pretty close to original. One thing that I like about the the recent Jordan 11 retros, the, the ones that had 45s with the Space Jam and the Breads, is that they tried to go as close to the original as possible because when they started retroing the shoe, the first retros I tried in the year 2000, compared to my the sensation I remember from the 95, 96 original pairs, is that it was rock hard. The insole was stiff and... The fit was a little bit weird, it was narrower and I hated it, but now they're sticking to what the original used to be. The insole they gave us is the PU uh, polyurethane insole, which is, which provides added 
slightly added layer of cushioning and if you remember the, the originals the pu insole was even thicker than this so uh, it's kind of like the old 90s reebok shoes where they do have a decent midsole but the insole actually provides like 30 percent more enhancement in terms in terms of step in comfort and overall um cushiness or bounciness and the midsole uh it, they kind of stopped caring about it and in the retros they were kind of rigid and the, it was pretty dense but the density is lower it's softer which is what the original 11s were supposed to be the midsole as you can see there's no pattern it's just blend before this uh most of the shoes they tried to have a lot more fancy jagged patterns and colorways on the midsoles and uh, jordan 11 ditched everything just going for function over form and it worked wonders so this definitely is as much closer to the ogs than some of the retros we've had um i don't know if it's worth 200 dollars because there are a lot better performers out there but uh, compared to the retros i would say this is a lot more worth it retros in the past that is um yeah the, the strobe board is also pretty thick and inside there's a little hole you can see the the darkness the black uh air in air uh air sole full length air sole uh, so it's good that they have the 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 zen z generation generation z the new face of uh, the jordan franchise the zions going with a full length air sole kind of paying tribute or homage to the jordan 11s so that's nice as a pg5 also going with the air strobe that's nice little nod to it in some sense air strobe might not actually be your cup of tea i do like uh the air sole having a bit of a more of a strobe board and a little bit more of a uh a coating of some foam layers instead of the air just sitting right underneath my foot it seems to work better that way uh the outsole pattern is is a pretty simple herringbone traction pattern but it was a welcome return to functional herringbone pattern because from the jordan 6 to 10 they've had all this storytelling traction pattern which did not work slippery as what and it's not durable it just it just didn't work i don't know what they were thinking it looks like they they had some uh, some kids do some arts and craft class scrape whatever you want and see what works here uh, you want to tell the story yeah put some uh, chinese characters there yeah maybe that'll work for traction no it didn't yeah putting all jordan's accomplishments line by line not a good traction We're putting little bubble dots there no not great for traction so uh after stopping with the herringbone pattern in the fives they brought it back in the 11s so that was good uh but of course the original evans had some durability issue because the, the grooves were really really shallow uh but thankfully uh they seem to have improved it a little bit it certainly feels a little bit deeper uh because if you remember the the jordan 13s and the 11s these patterns were ba barely barely grazed it's like they've had uh, a, a heated metal pattern presser mold and they they would just go like I thankfully i think they pressed it a little bit deeper this time so that's nice uh the the carbon plate of course is closer to the original it's like that cross stitch checkered board type of method chang instead of the uh just uh tpu plastic you think this is the jordan futures uh they try to give the same midsole and the outsole like the the bad jordan retro so this is uh more bang for your bucks if you want to feel what those bad jordan retros feel like yeah so closer to the original works good uh price point not too bad uh the resellers are not taking advantage of this thankfully they're more distracted with the kobe pro tours and other uh shoes that's fetching some you know nice uh over the, the price over the top price tags after they uh, are sold off the shelves so yeah something that you might want to uh give a try or give a look at uh it fits true to size for me it's pretty roomy so if you have really flat and narrow foot you might want to go down half a size um i think that pretty much covers it oh uh, and this is a 25 instead of a 23 to mark the anniversary of the launching of the jordan 11s apparently